Well, there's a few that come to mind, and at the top of my list is high expectations for student achievement. Too often in education, we sometimes run across some who don't have high expectations for each and every student that we serve. And so I really believe that any school leader has to help make sure that the expectations for students are extremely high and that we hold everyone to helping students meet those achievements. It really is about making sure that each and every student reaches their potential, has the opportunity to do that and the resources to do that in a personalized manner. So when I'm talking with school leaders, it's always about how we can make sure every student is successful. All means all when it comes to college and career readiness. And that's something that I, I hold very dearly. I think the other trait that's really important is a good school leader is a learner and is constantly learning about how best to serve their students, their community, their teachers, and their staff. Because that's what leadership is all about. And it's impossible when you become a principal or an assistant principal or a director or an assistant superintendent to know everything. Every role that someone goes into really has a learning curve, and that requires people to be open-minded, and that requires people to spend some time learning about the role. And each role has a leadership component to it, which means working with a variety of different stakeholders, working with different teachers, working with different students and backgrounds, those types of things, but also has a management component that's also really important about how you actually build a master schedule, how you actually um, develop a safety plan, develop a budget. All of those things are pretty important in the life of a leader, and you're not necessarily going to come into any given role knowing how to do all of those things really well. So being open-minded, being able to learn from mentors, being able to go out and investigate, learn, study on your own, take extra coursework, um, connect with other leaders that have done it is really, really important. I think a third trait that's really important is adaptive leadership. Any school leader that gets into a new role, whether you're an assistant principal at a school, a principal, or a director, um, anytime you join a new school or district, you really have to be flexible in your approach as to how you're going to serve the students and the teachers and the staff and the community at that particular school or that district that you're assigned to. What works in one school may not work in another. What one staff that you're serving needs may be very different than another staff that you are assigned to serve. What one district's um, needs are in terms of leadership could be different than another's. So that flexibility is really important for any school leader. But it's also important that with that flexibility, the leader has a strong set of core values, such as high expectations for student achievement, a belief in all students, a commitment to improvement. Those are really important things that any school leader has to also hold as true, because that's the true north. So that flexibility is really important because different environments are going to call for different approaches to leadership. But as long as the values are always stable and constant, that, um, that makes the school leader really effective.